Hi, I'm James at Bespoke Airsoft and welcome back to yet another video review. In this video, we're taking a look at the WE M9 and M9 Long. So yes, we haven't looked at M9s yet in the WE group of products, and we have two models here. We have one that's like a more conventional M9, and then we have one that's got an elongated slide and barrel. So first, let's take the normal model out of the box. Usual WE sort of style box in here, but these coming in from a gray color compared to a black. In the box, we have one gas magazine, and then we take the pistol out, and we have the M9 itself to one side and in the second box we have the M9 Long this one being the chrome version very very nice we have one gas magazine just like before and we have the M9 Long look at that so let's get the box again to one side so for the standard version we have the WE M9A1 this is the version with the rubberized textured grip here but for all the other WE M9 pistols of the same barrel length and such will perform exactly the same as this does unless it's something special like uh, the Samurai Edge models, the Resident Evil theme pistols which some of them can do full auto. For all intents and purposes if it's the same barrel length as this it's going to perform pretty much the same way. So we have a full metal pistol here, metal frame, metal slide, metal outer barrel, obviously locking open on on empty there. So if you're not familiar with M9s, they do many different variants. Uh, they do many different colours as well. This is used in law enforcement across the planet as well as uh, being used in theatre as well as a service sidearm. And for good reason, these have been around for a very long time. Uh, this is talking about the real steel version of course. But for the, the airsoft version, um, they're very very close to what the real thing would be. Of course they don't fire a real bullet obviously, but uh, they, like I said before, all the models that are the same sort of size and function as this will all function very much the same way. So, we've got a metal frame, metal slide, metal outer barrel, the functions here, hammer, we've got single action trigger, double action trigger, and we can arm the, tri the hammer as well, like before. Let's test the uh, trigger here. So we've got bit of take up there, the wall is right at the end, it's very predictable, break and the reset's not too bad either. Slide release can be found only on the left hand side so this is not an ambidextrous friendly pistol, very prominent, very easy to uh, hit with your thumb. The safety lever of course is found on the top slide too and then actuating this down makes the pistol safe and it can't fire. Back up and it can. Taking the pistol apart as well is very easy with the takedown lever. You basically push the button on the right side, push the takedown lever down like that and you'll see the slide lodged forward and then we can just slide it off like so. Putting it back on again, very, very easy. Very easy to manipulate. Now for those of you with bigger hands wearing gloves, you might not find it as easy to grab the slide uh, there's not much purchase there compared to the more blocky pistols like the 226 and the Glock 17 and all their derivatives. Um, so you haven't got as much here. It's not the end of the world. I mean, when I've shot M9s in the past, I've always kind of used the safety levers to sort of locate my finger and my thumb in pulling the slide back. Uh, we've got a bit of gas in here, so let's see how it does. Gun's empty, not a problem at all. Nice and snappy. Recoil's not too bad, a little bit less than the 226 series. So now let's put that M9A1 to one side. Uh, just before I put that to one side, nice rubberized grips here, very nice and comfy to use. So that brings me to this model. Now this is the first time I've actually picked one of these long models up, just because they tend to be a little bit more elusive uh, when we've been stocking them and we've never been managed to get them in stock. Um, the more elusive model to this would be the Cutlass, which I think came with white grips. 
I have a customer that's been after one of them for a long time and I just think it's been discontinued. Uh, but this is probably as close as you're going to get and then you might just have to switch the, uh, the grips out there. So just like the shorter M9, we've got a metal lower frame and slide, metal outer barrel, functions pretty much exactly the same, it's just the slide is elongated as well as the outer barrel and the inner barrel. Same functions, safety, unsafe, it's gas so it's obviously going to lock back. Let's test the trigger as well. Take up to the wall, very predictable where it is because you do get a, a nice solid stop. It's not spongy like the uh, MMPs that they do. Brake and reset. Do a quick fire of this. It's going to, like I say, shoot very much like the short version. Maybe a little bit more quick compared. Locks on empty. Take down controls and everything is exactly the same. Obviously M9s in Chrome are very blingy. Uh, it might not be for all of you. I think they do the M9s, uh, the standard military editions in tan as well. So you can go for a more sort of tactical look with the M9. Polymer grips here. They do sound a little bit hollow. They've got a fake wood effect on there. Uh, but the, the gas mag holds the exact same amount of rounds, about 24, 25 rounds, a double stack mag. Quite gas efficient, to be honest. Um, may suffer a little bit like the other full metal pistols in cold weather, because obviously you haven't got the added ability of the polymer frame sort of dissipating a little bit of the, uh, the cold temperatures. But uh, let's get these things on the top down camera. Let's have a close look and then we'll get to the shooting elements of the review. So yes, here we have the two models. We have the normal M9 length sidearm here, and then we have the long version, which is in a nice chrome effect color. Very, very nice indeed. Let's have a take a look at the more conventional M9 version first. You'll see, metal frame, metal slide, metal outer barrel. Everything on it is metal apart from the rubberized, or should I say rubber grips. Very, very nice. Very comfy as well. Uh, especially when wearing gloves, it's uh, it's not going anywhere. It's nice to have that extra grip on the pistol. Removing the magazine, 24-25 round capacity magazine. Nice and gas efficient. Like I said, tried and tested. They've been out for a while now, so they really know what they're producing. Um, on this model, you'll see it's got a rail section on the bottom of the frame, fitting your tack lights, lasers, anything like that. I'll show you the trigger now. So we've got the take up. The wall is about there, you can, it's a definite uh, wall that you can feel. Fire, that's the break point, reset, not too bad at all. Very, very good. To take the slide apart, you can lock the slide to the rear, I don't think you really have to, but I tend to always do it. Button on the right hand side, give that a press, push the lever down 90 degrees, slide forward and it'll slide off there then you can do all your maintenance and lubrication nice solid rails there almost the entirety of the slide much like a 226 we've got the slide here and then we can take the spring guide out oh, we can fire it across the room retrieved so Can pull the barrel out here. See the blowback unit in there. You got two blowback unit recoil springs. Nice and smooth. Held in by this metal plate, which obviously connects with the rails on the frame. The hop upon this isn't as easy to adjust. Obviously, you have to take the barrel assembly out, and then what you want to do is you want to knock this lever down and pull the inner barrel assembly out and then you've got a set screw just on the top there nice little flathead screw and then clockwise in more hop counterclockwise turning the screw out less hop I don't know if we can get this so you can see it you might not be able to see it putting it back together again is just a reverse of the process just watch these springs they are quite uh, springy Let's get this set back on there. There we go. Slide in the 
slide back onto the frame rails there. And we are good to go. Nice and easy to maintain, hop up is a bit of a pain, you will need a little flathead screwdriver to adjust that. Long is going to be very much the same, just, just cock it and like I say you don't have to have the slide back. Press the button on the other side, push that down 90 degrees and the slide will slide off. Very much the same method, as you pull the spring guide out you want to rotate it counterclockwise 90 degrees because there's a little uh, relief cutting the spring guide to take it out. Pull the barrel assembly forward and then back to retrieve it. And then we've got this little latch again, pull that down and it reveals the set screw for adjusting the hop up. Yes, I missed it when recording the WEMP5 video on how to adjust the hop, but uh, I promise I won't do it again. So let's set this back in place. Spring guide. Rotate it 90, locks into place, not going anywhere. It's not gonna fly off like some of the pistols that they do. I'm gonna locate the slide onto the frame rails. And there we are. So let's get to the chrono results. First off, I'm going to chrono the normal length M9, and second of all, I'm going to chrono the long M9. So as you'll see there, respectable FPS readout of the normal M9, and then of course, like I said before, more FPS out of the long version. You've got a longer inner barrel there, more time for the round to speed up. So if it's a little bit warm for your site that you're gonna be shooting at, of course, you can go down to lower power gases. Uh, there's no need to run green or red gas through this thing, but uh, obviously in the winter, it's gonna help. So you just have to make sure you're not firing too warm for the site that you're playing at. Let's get through straight through to the accuracy test, uh, and just like before, we're going to we're going to fire the normal M9 platform first, long M9 platform second, and this is the 10 meter accuracy test. So as you'll see there, again, like with, when we've done compact models, the long one is going to be chronoing more because obviously lengthening in a barrel, you know, the BB has more time to speed up in that longer inner barrel, so it's going to kick out more FPS. Now, if that's a little bit more than what you want, but you definitely want to go for something like this model, you could just step it down to a slightly weaker gas. We were using uh, green gas. Uh, you could go down to 144A or something. So that's if you really needed to. Um, but yes, very responsive, nice chrono results to be honest. Uh, nice and snappy on the triggers, very easy to use. The iron sights are a bit like the uh, 228, uh, where they've got a white dot on the front and then, like, you know, sort of the more subdued rear sight. So it's not the easiest to pick up and, and sort of uh, get a sight picture on compared to other models, but by all means, it's not bad either. Good gas efficiency, like I say, the long model chrono's a little bit more out of the box. Instead of a white dot, you've got a red dot, and then you've got some silver iron sights on the rear here. Again, just the same amount of problem uh, with the sight picture. Not the worst, but also not the best. Um, you could, of course, put you know, a bit of white dot on the back of the, of the rear sight just to make it a little bit easier for you in low light. Uh, so thanks for tuning in. I uh, hope you've enjoyed the overlook of the M9s. The, sh the so I keep saying the short, but this is like the, the normal length and of course the long. Both available on the website right now. Bespokeairsoft.co.uk. There'll also be a link in the description below. So if you do want to find these a little bit easier, just scroll down to the uh, description box, hit the tiny URL link, and you'll find these on the website. I'll try and get them all into the same search category in that link. Uh, 
Try and tested just like the 226, they've been around for a while now, they do loads of models, so depending on what sort of style and look you want to go for, they've probably got something for you. Uh, but for this and many other standard bespoke airsoft products, go to our website, like I said, bespokeairsoft.co.uk, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and YouTube, we're on all that good stuff. So if you want to get updates, be sure to be finding us on those social media pages. Or if you just want to be notified of product updates, go to the website, subscribe to the newsletter, because when everything, anything's back in stock or we get new products, you'll be notified first. Thanks for for this review. This is the WE M9 series, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.